Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are talking about segments. What are segment? Think of segment as a group of individuals that meet a specific criteria. For example, let's say you want to create a segment of individuals who have spent more than $2,000 buying your products. That's like a segment of high value customers. Similarly, you can create a segment of individuals whose birthday month is current month, right? So that way what will happen is you can send more promotion emails and more tailored emails to those customers so creating segments will help you to target marketing campaigns personalize the experiences and gain insights now what is a segment in data cloud segments are groups of unified profiles basically nothing but customers unique customers or accounts that meet specific criteria let's say in our case we will create a segment of high value customers who have spent more than thousand dollars in our reservation and also we will see the total number of reservations should be more than two. So we'll create a segment like this. So what is the benefit of segments? Segments can be used to target marketing campaigns, personalize experiences and gain insights. So that is the purpose of segments. Now, some important points related to segment. A segment must be published before it can be used in an activation or referenced in another segment. So if let's say you want to refer a segment in another segment, you have to first publish the segment before you can use an activation means sending it to other systems or reference them in another segment. Streaming insights are not available for use in segmentation. You can create segmentation with the help of calculated insights, but not through the streaming insights. Once a segment is marked as inactive, it cannot be re-enabled or used for activations. So once you have marked a segment as inactive, you cannot re-enable it or you cannot use it for activation, although it can be copied to create a new segment. So very important point need to remember that once a segment is marked inactive, you cannot re-enable it or you cannot use it for activation, it means you cannot send it to other systems, although you can copy it to create a new segment. Segments can be based on calculated insights. So you can create a segment based on calculated insights also, which are metrics calculated using SQL. You know what calculated insights are, right? Basically is metrics that you have calculated some data points uh, related to your customers. These segments are useful when dealing with complex data and that requires aggregation from different sources. When you have a lot of complex data, you can create segments on calculated insights. Calculated insights, think of it like a table gets created, right? You have seen there were three fields in the calculated insight. One was lifetime value, then total number of reservations. So it is like a, another D object. So these you can use calculated insights also to create segments. Segments can be activated and sent to other platforms for marketing or other purposes. So you can create the segment and then you can send those segments to other external system. And this is the example we will do in our course where we are going to create a segment and we will send these segment of customers to Amazon S3 account and uh, Amazon S3 can do whatever it wants with those segment of the customers. So this is it about segments in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will actually see how to create a segment and I'll see you then. Thank you very much.